I've said I was gonna deal with this later for like five or six videos, and later is finally now. Hello all you crazy people out there, my name is Dragonite, and I've been making videos on 3D games in Game Maker Studio for a while now. But throughout the entire, the, uh, the entire series for the last couple of weeks, months, whatever, that I've been doing this, there's been a consistent issue uh, that I've been having with Game Maker that relates to the direction that it thinks is up. As hilarious as that sounds, without context. And the effects of that, for those of you who uh, have not been around, or, or just don't remember, are things such as uh, moving the position of objects in a positive direction on the z-axis, and you would expect that to make them go up, but instead it makes them go down. Uh, sometimes when you multiply a, a distance by negative one, it makes it stand right side up instead of upside down, that sort of thing. And most of the time, as you can imagine, I like to understand the things that I make videos on, but I've been using 3D and Game Maker Studio 2 for... When did this even come out? Three and a half years now? The GMS2 beta came out and I still don't understand it. Game Maker Studio 2 has an unusual understanding of the, the up direction. And it boils down to that. And you can either make everything in the world upside down, you can either multiply everything's position and a Z scale by negative one to make it upside down and appear in the game window right side up. Uh, or you could mess with the camera and call it a day. So. So instead of, uh, instead of inverting the positions and scales of everything in, in the game world, uh, I find it's easiest to just invert the, uh, the camera's projection matrix, set the field of view to minus 60 instead of positive 60, and set the, uh, the aspect ratio to minus 16 over 9 instead of positive 16 over 9. I realize, yes, that sounds very ridiculous to have a negative field of view, but it's, uh, it's equally ridiculous to have everything in the game world upside down. I think, so I'd prefer to do that instead. Uh, let's see. This is, by the way, in case you didn't see, a, uh, a continuation of the uh, the fast vertex buffer video that I did, but none, nothing in there is really uh, especially relevant. So let me run the game again, and since, uh, since I made the camera upside down, things should mostly still be in the same place, but uh, there, there may be some slight uh, mirroring going on. Okay, so the camera's upside down. Alright, I'll start with that. So I'm going to go into the player, and the player, I believe, is created at a depth of negative 64 instead of positive 64. Um, the rest of this video is just going to be correcting the stupid hacks that I've had to do to compensate for this elsewhere. I believe the, uh... Now I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep Z from... as, um... I'm going to keep Z2, rather, sorry, as a Z from minus the sign, and I'm just going to change how these, um, change how the pitch is evaluated. So I'm going to say instead of, instead of look pitch plus equals, I mean minus equals the, the change uh, in the mouse position, I'm going to just say it plus equals the change in the mouse position. So we are still, uh, oh, you know what? Okay, so another thing that's going on with the floor is, and I don't understand why I did this, it might have just been so that it, uh... It might have been because I still had the tire layer drawing when I uh, initially created the vertex buffer to form the floor, and I wanted to just position the, the grid somewhere other than the tile layer, I don't remember. Okay, so now the floor is where it belongs. The player is where it belongs. Uh, the Going Merry is still upside down. Is that just because the uh, the vertex buffer for the going Mary is upside down? Uh, whereas the Mary is here. Okay, I believe the vertex buffer for the going Mary is just upside down. What happens if I uh, what happens if I open that in Model Creator for Game Maker? Okay, that is indeed what's going on here. One, the model has been saved with the Y axis as up instead of Z because I assume this I. I assume this came from uh, Blender, and Blender likes to save things with the y-axis as the up direction instead of z. Could get into why that is, but it's just a matter of perspective, so I won't bother. And also, uh, it, it is indeed upside down. It is, it is indeed pointing towards negative y at the top of the ship instead of the uh, instead of positive y. Uh, I I could fix the OBJ or whatever, but instead I'm just going to rotate it around the x-axis. I think 90 degrees. And that will that will flip it right side up. Uh, if I look at it from the front, 
Uh, top of the ship is pointing towards positive Z. Positive X, po uh, negative X, negative Z. That's good enough for me. I am going to save that. Um, if I wanted to, if I wanted to do things perfectly, I would convert it back to a vertex buffer, as it was in, um, as it was in in the last video about using vertex buffers to load things fast. Uh, I'll do that on my own time. For now. For now, I'll do that, and I will just uh, include mirror.d3d and in included files instead. And now it should be right side up. And I think that's everything that was uh, that I initially had upside down. Um, okay, so the vertex colors are gone because it's not being drawn with any any alpha or anything. Uh, the it did, model creator didn't load the material, didn't use that data or anything. Um, it's also sinking beneath the floor because, okay. I mean, I understand why that is also. It's just because where the model origin is. So many things to worry about when it comes to these things. Let's draw you slightly above the ground. That should be good, right? I'm assuming everybody watching this video doesn't want to see me twiddling my thumbs over this, but... Uh... I just want to make it look like it's it's like actually floating in something, even if the thing it happens to be floating in is grass instead of water. If you were to change the vertex color co color to to blue, or at least change the um, no, that wouldn't do it. That would make it look like this. If you were to hue shift the grass um, tile to blue, it would look more like water. Okay. Anyway, we are right side up now. Uh, no more no more annoying dealing with negative ones and minus signs and positive signs or anything like that. I'm going to use this version of the project going forward because I just, it's easier to deal with things when you can have a consistent uh, Z up direction. How long did this video take? I hope it didn't take too long. I hope it doesn't end up taking too long. I know I kind of screwed around with uh, the Going Merry model maybe a little bit longer than I had to. That's it, this is just a little bonus video for uh, for 3D Games and Game Maker Studio 2. I'm going to still try to have a, a video on collisions up by the end of the week. Every video I make on 3D games is going to be uh, continuing off of this, just so that none of us have to deal with that anymore. If I was smart, I would have done this from the beginning, but I didn't really want to throw a negative field of view in part one because that would probably cause unnecessary confusion, and after that I just didn't think about it until it was already a great big mess. In any event, my name is Dragonite, this has been 3D Games and Game Maker Studio 2. I hope you all enjoyed that, and I will see you all later.